the Battlefield 2042 unable to load persistence data as it's caused due to a fault on the server end. In normal cases, you would see this error when the client is unable to communicate with the servers. Caused due to a problem on the server end or an internet connection problem on the user end. Here are the methods I suggest to fix the error. Method 1, Check Battlefield 2042 Server Status. To make sure that the problem is indeed caused by a server issue and not something that you can fix locally, Battlefield 2042 server status updates are being posted on the Battlefield Direct Communication Twitter account. Method 2, Reboot the router and the PC or console. Method 3, Run the game with admin permission. Running the game with admin permission has worked for quite a number of players to avoid the error. So, besides DSiabling the crossplay, this is another thing you can try if you are on PC. Method 4, Disable crossplay. To disable crossplay, go to Options Menu, General, Tab, you will see the option there. For Xbox players, Home button, Profile, My Profile, Privacy Settings, Xbox Privacy, Details and Customize, Communication. Method 5, Clear Cache on Origin or Download Cache on Steam. If you are use Oringen, hold the Windows key R in the command box that opens, type percent program data percent origin then click OK. Delete all the files and folders inside it except for local content. Do not delete this folder. Restart your PC and log back into Origin. On Steam, from your Steam client, open the Settings panel by selecting, Steam, Settings, from the top left client menu. In the Settings panel, select the Downloads tab and you'll find the, Clear Download Cache, button at the bottom. Then select, OK, to confirm and acknowledge that you'll need to log in to Steam again. Method 6, Verify Integrity of Game Files. Load Steam, from the Library section, right-click on the game and select Properties from the menu. Select the Local Files tab and click Verify Integrity of Game Files. Steam will verify the game's files. This process may take several minutes. Once the process is completed, the check window will automatically exit. Method 7, Power Cycle the Console. Turn off your console for about 10 seconds, until it shuts down completely. Unplug the console's power cable. Wait 3 minute. Important be sure to wait at least 3 minute. This step resets the power supply. Plug the console power cable back in. Turn on your console and check issue. 